Hello, Scorps. All right, girl, let's get started. Sit down in the chair, lean back so we can talk about your life. For the month of June, we're here for a monthly reading. Any placement of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, and South Node placements to anybody who would like to be known because they are in here. That, I can promise you. Thank you guys for all the continued support, bookings, likes, shares, comments, subscribes, recommendations, tips, all that. I appreciate it. To book a reading with me, my pricing and contact information will be in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Make sure that you are liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I think you know what it keeps me in. The rotation. Otherwise known as the algorithm. That's what YouTube call it, okay? Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So, Scorpio. What we're going to do is pull three. Hold on, girl. Let me check out the planets. Is there any planetary activity happening in your sign? No. There is not. Okay. So let's keep it going. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is pull three zodiac signs to see what placements you guys might have. Who could be around you during this time? Who could be being nosy? It happens. Okay. And then we're going to pull a monthly oracle message card just for you. Okay. Excuse me. Loose lips sink ships i had to tell gemini this they gotta stop talking so much about their life okay to people who don't really either give a fuck or just people that just don't need to know that much about you all right so scorpio i feel like you need to be careful about running your mouth too much either about your personal life um or just you know this for me is like you, you be talking shit yeah i feel something i feel something on my on my on my thing yeah i see that shit what the fuck ah! okay all right, let's continue. Spirit guys, what zodiac signs can resonate with this Scorpio reading for the month of June in the year 2023? Ooh, what's that? One, two, three. Oh, Broadway. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Scorpio, are some of you into the theater? Are some of you, do you, some of you guys like theater? Like this for me is like you like to go see plays, musicals. Oh. What's your culture dance? Okay, I like it. All right. So, Scorpio, they could be an Aquarius in the box, okay? In the vicinity, mainly in the bushes, in your driveway with the boom box and shit. All right, some of y'all, they could be an Aquarius being nosy during this time. But we have Aries. I don't like that. We have Aries, we have Pisces, and we have Libra. So we do have some strong air sign energy showing up. So some of you guys, it could be an air sign around you, an air sign in the vicinity, or you could have heavy air in your chart. Aries, Pisces, and Libra. Libra moon. Okay. Libra moon, Jupiter and Pisces, Jupiter and Aries, and also Jupiter and Libra. That's it. Okay, so some of you guys could have Libra Moon, Jupiter in Libra, and Jupiter in Aries and Pisces. Like I said, these zodiac signs can be around you during this time. They could be being nosy. Um, I forgot to mention in, in the Gemini reading. There could also be some messages for you in these monthly readings. Um, I'll be doing Aries later on tonight. It's a lot going on over here, okay? <sighs> I wish my life was slow down. Spirit so guys, what's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month? of june in the year 2023 all right girl let me get that right hold on okay mm -hmm. okay not too many spirit guys what's going on with the scorpio zodiac for the month of june in the year now nah. uh booty up in the year 2023 The dreaded. Not really. Okay. Uh Gemini had this too. You might need to go check out their reading. Did you come out on that shit? You did. Uh Cancer and Scorpio came out. The Zodiac signs came out. Go check out their reading, okay? Because it, it looked like this might mirror it a little bit. This might be part part dip. Okay. Save money. Whenever I pull this card, you're going to need this money that you're saving. Okay. This for me is like an expense that's gonna be coming up over these next few days, weeks, maybe the month. Okay, but you're going to need this money that you have to put to the side. Okay, please make sure that you're saving money in the month of June. Keep it low key. Did I not say at the beginning of the reading? Loose lips sink ships. Come on. Um, Some of y'all could need to keep it a secret what you're saving money for. I don't know. Okay. 
But like I said, just, you know, um, not talking so much about what's going on in your life, what you're dealing with during this time. Which deck do we want to use? That one. Okay, let's give y'all a quick shuffle. Let's go. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2023? Nine of Pentacles. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Yes. Scorpio, that would be you. Very self-sufficient, able to take care of yourself. I don't need no man. Okay, nah, but this for me is just being a, just being able to take care of yourself. You're self-reliant. You don't depend on anybody for anything because you can get it done. All right. With the judgment card, um, some of y'all make wise decisions as it relates to taking care of yourself financially, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Uh, the judgment card for me can be making lifestyle choices uh, and or changes that are most beneficial for you, right? It's like it's giving WWJD. What would Jesus do? Okay, just not. Uh, I'm very careful about saying this. Was the first time, first thing that came to mind. Not live, not really living righteously. It's like he wants you to sin less, not be sinless. Sin less, not sinless. Okay, girl, we, it's, it, we're human, made of flesh. It, it's it's possible, unless you're gonna be a monk or none. Okay. Judgment, Eight of Cups, Two of Swords. <sighs> Let's talk about it, Scorpio. You made the right decision. Judgment card, Eight of Cups, and the Two of Swords. And walking away from a certain situation. Um, It's like, I don't need this job. I don't need this person. I don't need this yet. Okay, some of y'all made the right decision in walking away from something. And I feel like, was, girl, if you got to walk away from it, you don't need it. Okay, you can live without it, right? Um, some I do see some Scorpios in this energy. Two of Swords, Judgment Card, and the Eight of Cups trying to figure out should it should I or shouldn't I? Trying to figure out whether or not they should they should turn their back on a certain situation. Uh Knight of Wands, Six of Cups. That's why I said it was past it. Okay, Six of Cups, Four of Swords. I'm hearing some of y'all don't need to run back to something because it's comfortable. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, be be able and willing to stand on your own two feet. Um, this for me is going back to like a um a a, a safety net, you know. Um, this could be a, a way of doing things, but you're going, you're reverting back. Okay, it's like you're moving backwards. Um, going back to a certain situation, right, or going back to a certain person, and it could be because with the Knight of Wands, you still want to be able to run around, do whatever you want to, but you know, whenever you really fully leave something alone with the Nine of Pentacles, you got to be able and willing to uh, kind of stand on your own two feet, like, if we was to uh, mention, like, actual examples, um, this for me is, like, you can't go back, nah, 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 Ah, girl, it's a touchy subject. Let's use this, okay? Um, this to me is like you shouldn't go back to somebody just because it's comfortable. You know this person is going to be there for you or you live a certain type of lifestyle whenever you go back to somebody. Or this for me could be going back to someone that you know will always be there, that your safety net. What is that, girl? What the fuck? <laughs> It's like, why are you doing this, okay? You know it's the best decision for you to turn your back on it anyway, all right? Um, some of you guys, this pertains to an earth sign. Virgo is the only earth sign that I got out here. Some of y'all, this pertains to a fire sign. We got Sag and Aries showing up. Some of y'all, this pertains to an air sign. Aquarius and Libra is showing up. It's like, girl, be independent, okay? <laughs> That's what it's giving me. Not it's like be independent. Don't be so quick to depend on something or someone. I'm so sorry. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2023? What's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2023? Five of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. 
So some of y'all could be dealing with some financial issues in the month of uh, June, back-to-back -back bills, an unexpected expense, feeling like debt is beating your ass, okay? It's like, I'm a strong, independent man or woman. I can handle this, all right? Because you can, okay? Now, of course, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it. But if it's just a, it's like freedom ain't free. Being um on your own, right? Being independent, it costs. All right, so some of y'all could be in that space of having to realize that, right? Getting hit with the reality check. Excuse me. Seven of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, Two of Wands. Ooh. If some of y'all know it's time for you to be done with a certain person, be done with a certain person. Unfortunately, with the Ten of Cups, this could range from someone that you have a child with, someone that you're in a relationship with, someone that you're related to. A uh, Devil card, High Priestess, Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. I'm seeing it two different ways. This, for me, is like you needing to resist the temptation of allowing someone to stay attached to you. 11-11 confirmations. You staying attached to someone. You going back to someone that you know is just not good for you, Right? Or, did I say this already? Being stubborn in regards to letting something go. It's like, now nah, I'll weigh it out. Seven of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, and Two of Wands. Let's just see how it goes. You're wasting time. You're wasting time. And with the Devil card and the Will of Fortune out here, you're just entering another karmic cycle. It's like the longer you stay in something or attached to something, the harder it's going to be for you to finally leave whenever you get fed up. Okay? Because it's like you you digging a deeper hole. All right? Some of y'all, this is in regards to debt. It's like you refuse to pay off anything. Right? Um, you're just doing the minimum payment. Hey, girl, that shit going to be there forever until you die. If you don't start, you know, taking it more seriously. Um, staying attached to someone where it's like, girl, you didn't broke up with this person 511 times. 12, 12 confirmations. And yet here you are. You be complaining, but then you go back. It's sounding a little insane. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2023? No disrespect. No, <laughs> no disrespect, okay? Page of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys could be needing to pay closer attention to your financial situation. All right, Five of Wands. There could be certain things you need to take care of and you could be trying to ignore it. And it's like, hey, girl, you don't want to wake up to the beep, beep, beep. Your car on the back of somebody's truck. All right. Or you get a let on your door. Where's the rent? Right. Be careful about that. You watching somebody? If you watching somebody, Scorpio, somebody watching you, okay? Um, you know, it's giving competition. 13, 13 confirmations. Exactly. Thank you. Some of y'all, I feel like there's someone here that plays that pays very close attention to you. It's like someone here feels like they need to be doing better than you, or they feel like they're in competition with you. Or Scorpio, you feel this way to somebody. Girl, you better mind your fucking business. Okay, Scorpio, if it is you. But if you like, girl, I don't play like that. <laughs> I don't play them sorts of games. This is being done to you. Someone here sees the way that you live, the way that you manage yourself, the way that you take care of yourself. And they're like, I need to do better than them. I need to be better than them. Girl, what? You need to take care of yourself. That's what you need to do. Facts. This could be coming from an earth, fire, or an air sign individual. Mm, you know what I'm hearing? Some of y'all, there is someone here that sees you as very, like I said, independent, able to take care of yourself, and they not. They are the exact opposite. They need people. They need someone to take care of them. They need somebody to be attached to. They can't do it on their own. Uh, Spirit guys, what's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2020? What's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2023? It's like someone here does not like you because you, girl, I can do it by my own, or by myself. I don't need a man. I don't need my mama to have me on her insurance policy. Like, I don't need none of that. I got, I got that all on my own. It's like every bill that I pay is in my name, okay? <laughs> Shoot, talk your shit, okay? Well, Scorpio, this is you to someone. 
Sorry, I was reading the uh, email. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. The dreaded, the notorious. Seven of Swords are showing up on the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. It's giving sabotage. I feel like some of y'all need to be careful of 1515 confirmations. Um, jealousy can come in the form of anything and anybody. People aren't as harmless as you think. It doesn't just stop at some people here just being jealous of you, um, wanting something that you have. Like some people will really go out their way to, you know, set you up for failure. You need to be careful about that, all right? Seven of Swords, Emperor, and the Wheel of Fortune. Some of y'all, this is in a work situation, a work environment, all right? This for me is someone here um, purposely doing something at your job to put you in a bad position. They don't tell you about a schedule change, so you wind up showing up late for work or you don't show up at all. It's like, bitch, how was the fuck I, how was I supposed to know? I'm psychic, but not that type of psychic, bitch, okay? Um, this for me is someone here leaving you, leaving a certain job to you when they were supposed to take care of it yourself. You know, shit. This is somebody here leaving a certain mess for you to clean up. 16, 16 confirmations. And it's like, girl, it's not your job. So you're not going to be going around looking for shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Right now you getting yelled at by your manager. And it's like, bitch, it's not my job. Yell at the person whose job it is. This is why they didn't do it. What? Some of y'all, this is your little boss, your manager, your supervisor. Trash. Ain't that some shit? Okay? Your boss fucked up. Your manager fucked up. All right? The way they manage is fucked up. All right? Girl, I hope ain't nobody stealing money from you. I don't like to see the pinnacles too close to the seven of swords. Please be... Monitor your checks. Okay? Please. Please. Ooh. So, let's talk about it. Scorpio. You need to be careful about being bought. Um, it's like knowing that someone here doesn't have really good ways about themselves, but you still involve yourself with them because there's a benefit for you. Okay, like I said, you need to be careful about being bought. This for me is you staying attached to a certain work situation because you know it pays the bills or you get some sort of benefit but it is it really worth your boss or your manager demeaning you um setting you up for failure um not really treating you as a valued employee right um going staying staying with someone or going back to someone because they provide you with a certain lifestyle with the five wands y'all argue you see the the turbulent energy which you stay in this situation it's like it's giving me is it worth it though I mean, girl, if you say yes, then I guess it's worth it to you. But, you know. All right. And happy, unhappiness can snowball into something much serious, much more serious. Okay. Please be careful. If you're looking for um jobs, be careful about job scams. All right. This for me is, you know, fake companies, um, fake job postings. Um, yeah, you need to be careful. All right. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2023? Ten of Pentacles with the Hermit. Some of y'all could be looking for a new job during this time. I'm seeing that the type of job that you could be looking for could be in a competitive market. So this for me is like you're looking for a certain um, position to where a lot of people could be looking for that right now. It could it could be um, money related. It's like this is a very well paying uh, career um, career field, and with the five wands, a lot of people want that job. All right, uh, with the nine of pentacles, you got to be willing to stand out. 1919 confirmations okay you got to be quick with the with the answers whenever they ask you these questions in the interview right that's what they looking for um they some of y'all could be looking for a certain job to where the employers are looking for you to stand out all right it's kind of like they want you to be status quo but they also want you to nine of pentacles be able to handle things on your own it's like sometimes the employer don't want to hear um well i'm gonna call my supervisor or get my co-worker to help me sometimes they want to hear that you're gonna handle that shit by yourself you ain't gonna call nobody girl i'm gonna do it i'm gonna take care of it all right Some of y'all, 
could be in a job or a work environment to where people don't like you because you are not solely dependent on that job. You're not solely dependent on that job. You tend to fight back in regards to things that go on at your job. It's like whenever you feel like something here isn't right, you are the one that's going to speak up. And I feel like it's, it's either one or two things. Either you probably upset management or the higher ups because you are not someone that's going to fall in the line. You're going to say whenever something wrong is going on or you're going to get hate from uh, co-workers. Because you're someone that's not just going, like I said, fall in line. And that make them feel insecure. It's like being able to, they going to really be able to see like, damn, yo, I really don't be standing up for myself. I really just be doing what, it, what somebody tell me. And this ain't in regards to like doing your job. This for me is like, um, you fucked up the schedule. I'm not working that day. I told you I couldn't work and you still scheduled me. Whereas another coworker would just be like, oh, I guess I work. No, girl, my, my granddaddy birthday that day. I'm not coming to work. You better fix it. And if you don't, hey, girl, you, better, you, you might want to go ahead and put a post on Indeed. That's fucked up. All right. Remember how that seven of swords came out? Some, some of y'all need to be careful about somebody here testing your boundaries. Somebody here trying to see like 2112 confirmations. Can they get over? Um, can they get over on you? Listen to me. I done lost a few jobs because I have spoken up for myself. I I, I am, at first, you know, I don't I don't been fired a few times, but I've only been fired whenever I spoke up for myself. I didn't let nobody run over me. I didn't let nobody just do say whatever they was gonna say to me. Fuck this job, girl. Fuck it. Okay. Are you kidding me? You think I'm going to be disrespected and it's going to be tolerated? No. Sometimes you got to be willing to lose a job like that. Do you even really need a job if they're going to treat you like that? No. Okay. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2023? Now, luckily, I've always found myself in a position to where it's like, you know, if I got fired, I had money on me. So, you know, I wasn't really, you know, ass out or I had some sort of support system around me to where it was like I wasn't, like I said, truly ass out. So I really feel like that was God's protection. But that also let me know that he was like, hey, girl, I knew it was going to happen. OK, 22, 22 confirmation. It's like I knew it was going to happen. So I had to set you up a little bit, okay? Put you in a situation where, like, you really had to speak up for yourself, but it was probably best for you to be, you know, fired and or let go from that situation anyway, all right? Queen of Swords with the Four of Wands. You know your energy not out here yet, which is very scary. With the Page of Swords, this for me looks like somebody that's watching you, mm-hmm. Daddy's girl, mama's boy, lazy, bum, whatever. I see there could be somebody here watching you. What's crazy is you could be related to this person. You could have worked with this person at one point. Or just a fucking weirdo. What could be the neighbor? Okay, four wands is right here. Some of y'all, there is a feminine energy. Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords out here. Watching you who's a little bit jelly. Welch is great. Put me anywhere on God's green earth. I'm going to triple my worth. I will not lose. Some of y'all 23, 23 confirmations, you carry that energy. And there's someone watching you who can't fucking stand that, all right? Because they're being taken care of somebody because they cannot stand 10 toes down, okay? They need someone or something in order to be, excuse me, where they're at. You don't. Not, like, girl, I can make something out of nothing. That's just me. That's just the type of person that I am, Okay. Mm. Some of y'all, it could be time for you to uh, either move out of a family home. This means like maybe you live with your parents. Um, maybe you live with a family member. Maybe this is a relationship. Ten of Cups is out here. Some of y'all, it's time for you to stop living with someone. Some of y'all. Or to stop living in a certain environment. It could be a certain neighborhood. I wouldn't really consider it a bad neighborhood. This for me is like, hey, girl. The rent is moving up for an apartment. I might as well have a fucking house. And I mean, the house, the house, the house, the house prices ain't looking too much better either. But it's like, girl, if I'm going to pay all this for rent, I might as well have a fucking house, a condo, a townhouse, a townhouse, something. Some of y'all are noticing that it's time for you to up it in regards to your financial standing.
Spirit guys, what's going on with the Scorpio Zodiac for the month of June in the year 2023? Three of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Like I said, some of y'all could be looking for a job during this time. I see some of y'all gonna find it, find found it, gonna find it if you haven't already. Congratulations. Okay. Um, some of y'all I'm seeing anybody will be willing to hire you because you work hard. All right. You are a good employee. You are a good manager. You are a good supervisor. You good at what you do. You show up for work and you actually work. All right. And I do see some of you guys, a certain job is going to hire you. If you was wondering, if you are looking, there will be a certain job that is going to hire you because they see that you are capable, more than capable of doing your job. With the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords, this for me is someone here is going to look for certain clues while they're interviewing you and you're going to answer things correctly. And they're like, you know what? I appreciate that. Right. And that's why they decide to hire you or you will be hired. Pay the source if you are looking. And we do have the eight of pentacles out here, but you can't stop looking. Some of y'all, you might have been to three, four, five, six interviews. And it's like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Keep digging. All right. Some of y'all, you know, girl, you might be tired of looking. It's like, hey, you going to give up? That's what you're going to do? In the face of adversity? Five of Wands, you're going to give up, Scorpio? Don't do it. Strength card. You a problem solver. Strength card and the Ace of Swords. You got, there's two aces out here. You got to believe in me. Okay? You got to believe. Sometimes you going, you having to go from interview, 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 job to job to job to job because shit be trash. I believe in job hopping. Fuck that place. Okay, if it's not your career or it's not in alignment with what you want to do long term, fuck these jobs. I'm so sorry to the hiring managers that's watching this, but it's, I'm serious. All right? These jobs ain't willing to pay people what they are worth. These jobs ain't willing to get on the people's eyes that ain't doing their job because they need a hot body so they got all these bums working. I don't have time for it. Okay? Energy still not out here, Scorpio. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Scorpios over there for the month of June in the year 2023? But I'm, I'm like I, I mentioned earlier what that could be since your energy not out here. We, we waiting. Hangman with the three of pentacles. Yeah, I do feel some of you guys could be dealing with a certain stall as it relates to your career path. Excuse me. Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be trying to rebuild during this time. Uh, this for me is you've recently gone through a certain career shift, a career change, or you yourself want to make this happen, right? Yeah. I read the fuck out these cards. I didn't even see that. The Fool card. You want to take a step in a new direction, okay? Man store! Or Mrs. Intero Sante. Knight of Swords, Tower, and the Six of Pentacles. Some of y'all need to be careful about blowing through your money too fast with the Page of Wands. You can't control your urges and your impulses, all right? Eating out every day like you ain't got food at the crib, okay? Now, 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 now you short on rent or something like that. Be careful. You heard it here first, right? Um... That's trash. Some of y'all have people that are around the same age as you. I say that because the three of cups is here. You was friends with these people. You was close to these people. You knew that you worked with these people. Like I said, they're around the same age as you. So they're probably in the same or should be in the same situation as you. Who are mad at you? Because it's like everybody's, I wouldn't say in the same boat, but a lot of people are dealing with the same issues and problems during this time with this economy housing managing bills inflation trying to come up in the world it ain't what it was like before 2020 covid changed a lot of things with everybody everybody was affected even these celebrities girl the budget is not what it was okay you know celebrities just like us they might get a bigger paycheck but girl they they check the check just like us okay some of them the ones who don't have smart investment skills. Um, but I do see that some of y'all have people watching you to where it's like, how the fuck are you handling this? How are you getting through these hard times? And you still with the nine of pentacles, you still seem stable. You still seem independent. Bitch, you better worry about you. 
instead of asking me how what my recipe is girl you need to perfect yours work on your macaroni and cheese before you be asking me how i make mine all right spirit guys skip the ads please spirit guys what's going on with the scorpio zodiac for the month of june in the year 2023 okay It's the last card. Damn, yo. This is really somebody watching you hating outside the club and can't even get in. Three of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. That's trash. Someone here paying way too close, way too close of a yeah. Someone here is paying too much attention to you and they're not really focused on their own shit. Um, it could be your earth fire or air sign individual or scorpio you were doing this to someone but like i said your energy ain't even out in this reading no card is your energy oh lord this for me could be someone here is with someone and they still not able to live like how you you can or how you are you know or they might got kids. Ten of Pentacles out here. Of course they wouldn't be living. You wouldn't be living the same way they are. And they wouldn't be living the same way you is. Come on. Okay. Did I say that twice? Maybe. Okay. But like I said, because your energy isn't out here, there is someone or people watching you trying to figure out how you, how, how you making this happen. How? And they are mad about it. Okay. They can't, they can't figure it out. Some of y'all, I'm seeing you staying connected to a certain friendship, family situation, or work situation. It's just going to stall you. Hang man, you're going to feel like you're not moving forward at all. Because with the Ace of Pentacles, you need a new beginning. All right? And it's giving crabs in a bucket mentality. Or crabs in a bucket just in general. And it's crazy because there is a cancer card out here. Okay, crab, you know. All right, some of y'all have people around you that's really just going to drag you back. Or keep you stuck. Like I said, a job environment, a family situation, friendship, or business dealings. This, for me, could be also people trying to work with you. That way they can get on. All right? They don't care about how it benefits you as long as it makes it benefits them. Girl, watch out. Watch out, Lee Beach. All right, Scorpio. That was your June monthly reading. Like the video. Leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. Pricing and contact information will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. What time it is? Okay, girl, we're still doing okay. All right. All right, y'all. Bye, bye, bye. I'm going to tell you later. Bye.